Hello and welcome to another episode of Mathematics Tutorials and today we will be teaching you the most powerful technique in solving time rates differential calculus problem. So we will begin first with a very basic problem in differential calculus and once we master the technique, we'll solve more complicated ones. So we have here our first problem. Balloon leaves the ground 18 meters from an observer and rises vertically at 1.25 meter per second. How fast in meter per second is the balloon receding from the observer? after 8 seconds. So what do you mean by receding? Uh, receding means to move away from an object or observer. So we have here a balloon which is rising vertically. So this problem we will consider only vertical motion and we will not consider horizontal motion of the balloon. So this is just for theoretical problem solving purposes. So we have here our observer. So the observer is 18 meters away from where the balloon took off. Uh, this is where the balloon took off, that point here. So the observer is 18 meters from that point. The question is how fast in meter per second is the balloon receding from the observer after 8 seconds. So this is very important, take note of this because so the val this value will vary depending on what is the initial time. The balloon is rising vertically at 1.25 meter per second. The question is again how fast in meter per second is the balloon receding from the observer it's just pinned at this point so the only motion here is uh, with respect to the balloon so the balloon is rising vertically so we will let this distance as s so the question is how fast in meter per second so the question is in velocity or speed right so this should be expressed as speed also so so we are looking for the ds over dt so this is the change in distance or the change in s over the change in time now i will teach you a very efficient approach in solving differential time rates problem using the conventional solution so the first step you should do is to list out all the given so if we go back to our problem so we will list out all the given so here is the figure right the given, the given values are 1.25 meter per second, the rate at which the balloon is rising vertically. Then, the distance between the observer to the balloon. And also the time, which is 8 seconds. Okay? After the given, we will find what is required. So, given, required. So, the required variable for this problem would be ds over dt. Okay? So, after we list out all the given then find out what is required what is the next step so the next step would be formulating an equation so given required equate okay for this problem the figure form is a triangle so the most common equation in solving triangles is pythagorean theorem so this is s again this is we will let this as y so the value of y would be the total distance covered by the balloon so the total distance would be equal to the rate at which the balloon is rising vertically, so 1.25 times 8 seconds, okay? By using Pythagorean theorem, we get s squared is equal to 18 squared plus y squared, okay? y is equal to 1.25, again, this is the speed at which the balloon is rising, this is the time. So the total distance is 10 meters okay and y is equal to 10 meters s squared is equal to 18 squared plus 10 squared so we just substituted the value of y here so we can get the value of s or the initial value of s so s is equal to 2 square root of 106 meters so after listing out the given finding out what is required and formulating an equation what would be the next step so the next step would be to differentiate the equation okay so that's this is the most efficient way in solving time rates problem okay we will first find out what is given uh, find out what is required formulate the equation the next step would be is to differentiate we will differentiate the equation so this equation one so so we will differentiate this with respect to time if we differentiate this uh, this will now become by chain rule okay this is s squared so this will become 2s ds over dt and the differential of 18 is 0 and the differential of y squared would be 2y dy dt so differentiating equation 1 we get 2s ds over dt is equal to 0 plus 2y dy over dt that's why 
I didn't write the zero here. Since we already have the given, the required, the equation, we already differentiated. So what would be the next and final step for solving this problem? So the final step would be is to substitute. So direct substitution. So we will substitute the given to this equation. Okay. So we have S. This is unknown. We have Y and this is also known. What is dy dt? So this is the value of dy dt, okay? So the change in y with respect to time. So this is dy dt. So by substituting, we have 2, 2. We have s here. This is unknown. We have 2. This is y. This is dy dt. And then we can now solve for ds over. So this is now your answer using the conventional solution so we have here 0 0.607 meter per second that is your answer using the conventional solution so again if you want to solve time bridge problem using the conventional solution at least solve it efficiently so if we go back again to the steps it should be given required equation differentiation then substitution okay just remember the steps or oh, okay. here here, here, here. Okay, now I will present to you an alternate solution for this type of problems. Okay, I've named this technique as the 0 0.0001 time rate approach in differential calculus. So don't be confused by the number of zeros. So it is 0 point followed by three zeros. So the decimal is followed by three zeros. So 0 0.0001 time rate approach in differential calculus. So uh, as we move on, we will know, uh, you will know the importance of this value. So just a quick introduction to this technique. So this is the 0 0.0001 time rate approach. So uh, this was developed sometime around 2011. This technique eliminates the need of lengthy differentiating while arriving to exact answers in solving time rates. So this method involves measuring the actual change without using formulas. So we're still using differential calculus but without formulas. So here are the concepts behind this technique. This is an alternative solution again to the conventional way of solving time rate problems in differential calculus. We solve for ds over dt, right? So ds over dt denotes the differential change in distance. So if we say differential, this is very small, okay? So the differential change in distance over the differential change in time so the differential change means a very small or unnoticeable change so now this is the very key for this technique so we will take this change as so this is where the value of 0 0.0001 comes in so we will take this change as 0 0.0001 second so this value is the most realizable value for the differential change in time. So first, we have to consider the initial condition of the problems, or let us call it frame 1. Then we will let the object move for 0 0.0001 second, and we will call that frame as frame 2. Okay, so motion films consist of different frames to produce movement of the characters, and we will now use this concept in solving the problem. Or frame 1 or frame 2 are the frames in the span of the differential change in time. Again, uh, if we go back to the problem, the question asks us how fast in meter per second is the balloon receding from the observer. So we will let t is equal to 8 seconds as frame 1 and then we will let it move by 0 0.0001 second. So that is now frame 2. So we will proceed in solving the problem using this approach. So first we will consider frame 1. Okay. So for frame 1, so the first frame would involve the initial condition in t is equal to 8 seconds. So if we go back to the problem, if this is frame 1, this should be S1. So we will solve the different values of S for different frames. So since we are solving for ds over dt, okay? Uh, going back to the Pythagorean theorem, we have S squared is equal to 18 squared plus y squared. So we already solved the initial value of S for this one. So we have 2 squared to 106 meters. So I would advise you not to round off any value when using the formula in order to maintain the accuracy of the desired value. You can store this value in your calculators or write it in a piece of paper. Okay. Now we will solve frame 2. Uh, in frame 2, we will let the balloon rise for 0 0.0001 second more. Okay. So if we go back again to the problem, initially it was only 8 seconds for frame 1 or the initial condition. So we will now let it move for another 0 0.001 second. 
So now the value of y will change also. And correspondingly, the value of s2. In that way, we can solve for the actual change in s per change in time. Okay? Solving for the value of s2, still using Pythagorean theorem, we get... So we have s2 squared is equal to 18 squared plus... So this is y2. So we have... S2 is equal to 20.59132099. So again, store it in your calculators or write it in a piece of paper. So the value doesn't get diminished or added. Okay. Now, if we go back to the problem, so the problem is asking us for, so the problem is asking us for ds over dt, right? So we will express this ds into the change in s or the delta s, or it can also be expressed into s2 minus s1 or the final condition minus the initial condition all over the change in time so we will let this change in time be equal to 0 0.0001 okay so we have the values of s2 we solved earlier and the value of s1 so if we input this in our calculators the answer is equal to 0 0.607056563 so the same value using the conventional solution so so i hope you learned something new here and and we will solve more complicated problems using the same technique so once you master this technique you will learn to solve the problem using this way okay so you'll just input it directly in your calculators use so we just solve directly the value of s2 and this is the value of s1 directly in your calculator so so if you master this technique you can solve it using this method okay this technique is applicable to all problems in differential calculus involving time rates so i think that's all if you like the video click subscribe and hit that notification bell somewhere here thank you for watching also please like our facebook page and links will be in the description description below okay and shout out to all my friends who keeps on supporting me and thank you i owe you a lot and i owe you big time and watch out for the part two of this video and we will solve uh, more complicated problems so thank you for watching again guys bye